Hi everyone and welcome to Fun with Code. On the screen you can see a mail which was sent using Python. In the last video we have seen how to send mails using Python. However, it was not performing video. Uh, so I felt like everything here is garbage. So I thought let's do something more interesting. I hate garbage. So we are going to use HTML to send mails and we are going to do that with python and we you also got introduced to this in the in my last video if you did not watch that video please go and check the video i'll provide the link in the description so without any further delay let's start programming so this is all what we did in the last video so we are importing module and this is the instance of the module we are going to log in the login here with our email id and here password and i also explained about uh, app specific password in the last video if you did, didn't know that please go and check the video and here is the message and we are going to send mail this is a sender's email id this is a receiver's email id and here will be the message so after that we are going to say s dot quit so what we are going to do is we are going to type a message and we are also going to use some html here so for that we are going to need some other modules so let's import them so let's import the module let's say import email dot mime dot multi part import actually this should be from and then here it should be m my multi part and from the same library we are going to import from email dot mime dot text import mime text so this is a mime text and this is my multi part so we let's say let's create two variables sender will be equal to the sender's email id and let me just copy paste this and the receiver will be we'll, we are going to pass the receiver's email address so i'm going to send the email to myself so after this we are going to so we are going to come here near message and this will be equal to my multi part and open brackets and just type alternatives so now this message is not a message so after this we are going to say message and then here we are going to say from which will be equal to the sender actually this should be capital F and then before this let's say message is equal equal to just say subject is equal to and just pass in link and then after this message and this will be two and we are sending the email to the receiver so let's say r r e c and so let's create a variable called text this will be plain text so let's say Hey, want to know more about so we are going to say hey want to know more about programming then slash 
slash n then hit the subscribe subscribe button so slash n it will go to the new line so after this we are going to create html and just give it six inverted commas and just say slash just make some space and we are going to say we are going to type in html code HT, open html close html and in between this we are going to type in the html code for let's say head and if you want a html tutorial please comment down i will make a tutorial on that so head and then close head we are not going we are not going to pass in anything in head and then let's open body so here we are going to say first let's say here you see hi here is a great news for you and news is bold and you is italicized so this is all the html and even these images and links so what we are going to say is we are going to open a paragraph tag here so let's go to our code and open a paragraph tag and let's say hi and then let's open a br line breaker and then we are going to say here is some great news for you so let's here is some great so news should be bold so let's say strong open strong tag and then let's say news so you can even make a single letter bold so news and then close strong tag and then some great news for we are going to say open i tag here which stands for italic and then y o u and then close i and then we are going to close the paragraph so if you want to uh, see if this is the right code you can create a separate html file and just do the same pro copy this code and paste it and you can open the file in your browser and you can check if the code is correct and then we have the learn some great programming topics so we have a python image java image and php image so the i've created this using tables so if, let's even do that so before we close here let's open another br tag here br and then let's say learn some great programming topics so after this we are going to open table so let's say table and then open th and then open tr so here we are going to pass the image tag so src source is equal to so we can't give local files here we have to give a file which is on internet so i have taken it from internet So this is the link for uh, Python's logo. You can click on Control and click on the link, and it will take you to the link. So here is a tip for you: if you want to find out any favicon icon for a website, if you want 
icon of any website you can just type uh, for example let's say we want icon for google so let's go to let's type https google.com slash favicon dot ico and this will take you to the icon you can copy this link and just paste wherever you want so this is a little tip for you and then let's close close this so actually this should be tr and this should be th so let's close th and th stands for table heading and tr stands for table row so same like this we are going to get the java and php so let's i'm going to fast forward and we have all the images and below the images we have python java and php this is the text so i'm going so let's close the t tr tag here tr and then we are going to open tr again and we are going to say here td td stands for table data and here we are going to say strong and italic both so let's say strong and i and then python and then close i and then close strong and then close td so i'm going to fast forward this for java and php now we have java and php let's close this so let's say close tr and then we have this big subscribe button so if this is a anchor tag so uh, let's get out of the tr and close the table tag close the table tag and then we are going to open a which stands for anchor and then we are going to say h r e f this is going to be the link where it takes when the user clicks on the button so this is going to be my channel link here so let's get the channel link here is the channel link and after the a tag let's open an image tag and we are going to say src which stands for source and then we are going to pass in the image source and let's paste the image link here and as as i said you this is going we are going to take this from uh, online so you can't send a local file because it checks for local file when you send gmail and the local file doesn't go with the email so we are going to give a image which is already available online so everything is finished but we are going to mix this for text and html so let's say and let's say message dot attach and before we do that let's say text part is equal to m i m e text and then we are going to pass the text here so let's say text comma plain this is the plain text and then html part html part which is equal to m i m e multi and then we are going to pass in html and then we are going to say we are going to say html and then we are going to attach both of them so text part comma html part you can do otherwise you can say html part first and then the text part uh, then the html part will show first and then the text 
So before you run this program, you should say message dot as string and don't forget the brackets. And we are done. So let's run this program. And here is the output. So if I click on this subscribe button, it takes me to my channel. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Comment down if you want to learn anything new.